Hi folks, welcome to the page. I'm both Bees by the Sea and for the YouTube viewers, the Maverick Beekeeper. So uh, I've been bleating on for the last few days about being queenless in most of our hives. Um, but I've got some actual good news and the news is, is that all the hives are now queen right. Now, of course, there's a lot of things that have been going on. Um, queens have been disappearing. We've had super sieges and all the bits and pieces. But now we're at a stage where every single hive has got eggs, brood, and we've seen some of the queens, but not all. So they must be hiding on walls, etc., etc. But what we're seeing is, is eggs. And eggs is a clear sign that they've been in the hive for at least the last 12 hours which is really great. So we're in a good place and all we have to do now is nurture the hives through this period of uh, pretty poor weather. Queen rearing is still on the agenda, um, and therefore this will continue as soon as the weather gets a little bit better. But it would seem that the next two weeks it's hovering around 14 degrees, which is not great. So we're kind of hoping in some respects that we're gonna get another crop. Uh, however, we're not quite sure if that's going to happen or not. So all we're doing is, is making sure that the hives are queen right, they've got brood, and they are good in strength. So, yep, we're sort of looking towards end-of-season drills, if you like, and sorting out bits and pieces prior to that. Um, unless the weather drastically changes in the next few weeks, um, queen rearing is going to be difficult especially on the mating side. I've managed to successfully graft one queen uh, and she was in great shape. But you know the story behind that, being that we had three virgin queens for whatever reason ended up in the Langstroth hive where I put the grafted queen. Uh, the signs were good initially because the bees that I put in there were uh, pretty much queenless or hopelessly queenless in fact for at least two weeks which is a long time and I agree that there could have been a possibility of laying workers but it didn't happen so I hived them I introduced the queen and the signs were good however with the problem with the virgin queens never had it before went from one hive just to the left of the Langstroth that was superseding out about eight cells three queens had already emerged and got into the hive and caused havoc and the sign was that I saw them being bored by the rest of the colony. So that's where we are with that one. Uh, I'm still to determine what the score is in the Langstroth. I've seen no eggs, so potentially it is queenless. Anyway, enough of that. Today's inspections is great news for us. That we're now queen right, so that puts us back on uh, an even keel and we're ready to go again. So the next thing on the horizon that we're thinking of is treatments they're coming thick and fast we're looking bottom boards indicate that the varroa levels so far are not big however i do intend to do a mite shake um, to determine exact levels in each of the hives so that's the plan <clears throat> so you're gonna have to bear with us uh, most people will be thinking are we going to get some more honey not sure we'll have to see how the weather goes anyway enjoy the video and like, subscribe, comment, and of course, comments are always welcome. And we'll see you next time on the Maverick Beekeeper forward slash our both bees by the sea. See you all soon, folks. Enjoy. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tarry Apiary. As you can see, the weather's improved a little bit just for a few hours, which gives us time to look at these guys uh, because we need to get in there and find out what's happening. Um, because we did see eggs in there but no queen so it's a mystery and we need to get to the bottom of it so the ones we're looking at today are these two and of course this one over here I'm going to check that the QE is okay making sure they've got enough space and we're going to go from there so this one and one other to check today which is the Addison Apiary anyway so if there's anything interesting in these boxes, then I'll get the camera back on it and you can have a look. Okay, see you in a moment. In here still mm. I didn't know you fed these. Yeah, yeah, I fed them. Okay, so we're looking at QE, so strengths are good. Looks like they need another box. 
so we've brought one up with us so we're going to delve into it see what's going on seem remarkably calm that's great okay let's get into them and yet more slabs of brood so these guys are doing really well happy a lot of uh, burr comb that's because we've got a gap between the frames so it's expected yeah happy days Yes, war to war brood. <laughs> right, you can see from here from the QE we have some really good slabs of brood on both sides. That's brilliant. So we can tell this hive is completely queen right. Whoops. And even more brood this side. So that's great. Looks like a good one to graft off of for sure. So I'm going to look for eggs. That'll tell me the queen's in it. Okay. Okay guys, so uh, we were saying about the, uh, the tarry hives. Now we're looking at here and there is a shed load of brood. So that tells us that it is queen, right? And we need to find this queen wherever she is. Okay, that's good. And the numbers are good. And you can see the brood. So they're doing really well. One side of the hive though on that right hand side is completely bare. Yeah. Yeah, nothing there. So I might move the brood frame. Okay folks, so the verdict. Prince Philip, Queen Wright. These two have brood and eggs. Also Queen Wright. And of course our QE, same saying, Queen Wright. So it is a result. The two centre ones have obviously requeened themselves. There was a queen cell on the left hand one. So obviously they're doing a the business. So we're seeing eggs and brood. Quite a lot of brood actually. So that's good news. All right. So that's the tarry apiary done. We're happy. We're all queen right. So all I'm waiting for now is good weather to start grafting again. So we'll go from there. All right. On to Addison apiary. Check up on those guys. And see you all soon. Bye. Okay guys, so we're at the Addison Apiary and as you can see from the strengths here, this colony is booming. Now she's a 2022 queen overwintered. So you can see here, she's doing really, really well considering how old she is. Happy days. But we did notice some swarm cells. No super seizures, so that's good news. So that's the Addison Apiary. So we're gonna throw this back together. But you can see here the strengths are good. Fresh frame. Yeah. So we're going to throw in a nice fresh frame right in the middle of the brood box, give us something to do, and go from there. Radio. See you all soon.